Thinking Putty was my attempt to uh, kind of modernize a classic toy and put it on steroids uh, with all kinds of crazy shapes and colors and uh, different special effects. This is one of our super illusions. This is called Super Oil Slick. You can see it's very shiny, um, like regular, you know, putty that you might expect. You can bounce it. You can stretch it. And you can also tear it in half. Our putty, when it's torn, is black on the inside, and then when you smear across, the color comes back. When you stretch it thin, it's clear. So I got an idea. I tried experimenting, learned how to make putty, figured out how to make it, and then um, once I had that done, tried to make it better. And I've been doing that for, for 16 years now. This is Strange Attractor. It's our magnetic thinking putty. You can see it comes with a magnet in the can. You can do all kinds of tricks and effects. Not only does it attract to the magnet, it also, if I turn the magnet, repels. You can wind it up like this, turn the magnet back, it'll unwind itself. Now if I take this and I lay it flat, you can see there it goes. It's slowly gobbling up the magnet and engulfing it. And it'll continue to flow over the magnet until you don't see it anymore. And all you'll see are the magnetic field lines. It'll be like a rippled surface on the putty. It's called thinking putty because it keeps your hands busy, so your, your brain can do a little more thinking. That's the problem I had as a fidgeter. And I think a lot of kids, I get a lot of emails and a lot of letters that they have trouble studying, sitting still, doing their homework, and they get the putty in one hand, the pen in the other, and they're good to go. Foxfire is from our Phantoms line of thinking putty. Foxfire you can stretch and squeeze like any putty. It comes with a black light keychain in the can, and when you shine the light, it changes color and also glows in the dark. I have a degree in computer science from the University of Rochester I, and I did computers for a while and then I decided I needed something a little more scrunchy tactile and got into putty. Some of the science is very cool. I almost sometimes wish we didn't have to protect our intellectual property and our secrets because I kind of want to show the world like the really cool tricks and secrets that we figured out. Maybe one day we'll have a factory tour or something, I don't know. But um, if you stick to it, it's really persistence. Like when it gets hard, you keep at it. When you think you can't go any further, you take a break, come back to it in a month but you keep at it long enough that you can actually turn something into a real product. You can turn your ideas into reality.